It's about the day to you, uh, everyone. This is Jerome Nojo from New Stock Varsity by Blue House. Uh, today I'll be taking us to uh, two different stuff uh, on webmail, two different trainings on webmail. I'll be taking us on how we can log into our business email via webmail and also how we can immediately change our auto generated password on webmail to what is suitable for you. Uh, those are the two things I'll be taking us through on this video. So let's swing straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is whatever website address that you have, uh, if your website is built on WordPress, it's, it's obvious that the web uh, site built on web, WordPress will make use of email services that is using an application called WebMail. So what you do is have your website address www take for example what I'm doing right now is www.minetinsuranceinsurancebrokers.com slash forward slash webmail so once you have uh, www.yourbusinesswebsites.com forward slash webmail it will take you to the webmail dashboard where you will log in your email address and your password so I'm doing this right now for this uh, email address. Um, uh, let's see where it takes us. Click on login. So it's authenticating our uh, login credential. If it's perfect, if it's perfect, then it will automatically and successfully log us in. So login successful, it's redirecting us to the dashboard, the webmail dashboard where you have your inbox items like sent messages and all that. So there are two other applications that we use for logging into webmail. You can use the RAM queue or the pod. So I think for this email address, we have made use of the RAM queue uh, webmail. That's what we are using here. So you can see your inbox, draft, sent, journal, trash, archive, and all that. So but that's how to log into your business email via webmail and uh, if you want to change your password quickly what you do is you see the CP here on the left side of the dashboard on the other blue dark blue pane you have uh, CP CP means control panel so when you click on this it will take you to uh, a page where you'll be able to see other applications that you can use to log into your business email you see the run queue you see the order so but that's not where we are that's not where the focus is so the next thing you need to do is we want to change our password so what you do uh, this is the run queue and the odd so what you need to do is go to where you have the top right the top right corner of your dashboard where you have your email here the where I'm bouncing over right now. So there is an arrow down button which you click on and that takes you to where you takes you to uh, password and security. So you click on password and security. So right there it will take you to a page where you put in the new password and also the same password you confirm the password. Okay right here. So now I will be Changing the password now. So we need to confirm the new password by punching in the same uh, password. 
password. Most time for your password, there's something we call password strength. Password strength is uh, like uh, a meter to tell if your password is uh, okay to avoid any malicious acts like people predicting your password. So you need to make use of what we call the alpha numeric uh, standard where you have some letters and one or two numbers and also you alternate the case of the letter is it a capital letter you put in the capital letter and some small letter so that's the same principle that we use here and <laughs> the same password for us to confirm that it's the same password so all right we are good to go so then the next thing you do is you click save so you can see success you successfully change your password so that's how to do it how to change your password on webmail thank you for showing up on this video uh please subscribe to my youtube channel mr varsity by new mouse and click the notification bell so that you can get updated as soon as we turn out new videos for you instruct varsity is equipping and empowering entrepreneurs with soft skill for making digital dividends so see you on the other part of the video, which is to help you to show to show you how to set up your business email services right on your smartphone. On the go, you can send messages to your clients. You can check your inbox for messages sent uh, by your clients without having to get to your office to log into your uh, devices, maybe your laptop or your personal computer so that's how we roll see you in the next video Bye.